this quick video will guide you through a typical Knowledge Smart Skills Assessment. A Knowledge Smart Assessment is typically initiated via an email invite. Scroll to the bottom of the invite message and click this blue link to then initiate the assessment process. Notice your Knowledge Smart username and password is automatically appended. If you have previously completed a Knowledge Smart assessment, you might have to manually enter your password. Click Login to continue. Once logged in, this is the first screen that you will see. Notice the name of the assessment that you have been invited to at the top here. Next up, you will be prompted to answer some basic user profile information. Your Knowledge Smart assessment results, together with your user profile data, will be instrumental in guiding future training, recruitment and project resourcing plans. If any of this user data changes later on, you can edit them via your own Knowledge Smart user profile area. Next up, you will be asked to enter a self-rating score. This indicates how confident you are about your current skill level. Select the option that best describes your current knowledge of the assessment topic. Click the green Let's Get Started button at the bottom right to then continue. In the light grey box at the top you will notice your assessment title, a welcome message and also any references to time limits that may be applicable for your assessment. This user movie is also accessible via the right hand side here. Your assessment might require the use of some data set files. Click this yellow download files button on the left hand side to then download these data set files to your own computer. Remember to save them to a location that can easily be referred back to later on. It is also a good idea to extract the zip file by simply right clicking it and selecting extract all. In some cases questions will refer to images and these may be contained in the actual question area. These this middle column explains your question navigator and on the right hand side there is some more information about how to submit your assessment. If you scroll down a bit you will see a description of the question types that you might come across. It is a good idea to familiarize yourself with the question types but the most important thing is to read your questions thoroughly before attempting to answer them. Once you click the Resume Your Assessment green button, your assessment timer will officially begin. Now let's take a quick tour of the assessment interface. On the left hand side column you will notice the assessment name followed by your assessment timer. Below that is the question navigator. You can answer the questions in any order and even go back to double check your answers if needs be. Please familiarize yourself with the key provided here. At the top of the screen you will notice the question number followed by the question name and a brief description of what the question is about. This is then followed by information regarding any data sets needed for this question. Below that is the question wording and this is also where you'll find any images that might be linked to the question. Below that is the answer area and we will now run through your submission options. Your Knowledge Smart Administrator might choose to activate a request training button. If you don't feel confident in answering a specific question or feel that you need further training regarding a specific topic, please click the request training button before making other selections. If you are not able to answer a question at all, you may choose to select the Skip Question button on the right hand side. Lastly, to record your answer, click the Submit Your Answer button. As mentioned previously, you might come across different question types during your assessment. Let's take a look at a few examples. The first question is a matching question. Match the following cities to their applicable countries. Drag the cities from the left hand side into the correct box on the right.
Once you are happy with your choices, click Submit your answer to continue to the next question. The next question type which you might come across is to drag items into the correct order. Once again use your mouse to move the items around on the screen and once you're happy with the order, click Submit your answer to continue. The next question type is a multiple choice question. Here you are asked to select the correct answer from the list provided. Once you have completed all questions, you will see this box appear on your screen. You can either choose to return to your assessment to review all your answers one more time, or click Finish and Submit to submit your assessment to the Knowledge Smart server for marking. Whilst your assessment is being marked, you might be prompted to answer additional background questions. If you have any specific feedback or questions, you can use this box provided here. Your assessment results are instantly available and may include coaching notes and links to training material. This is all designed to help you on your personal development plan. In some cases, you might need to contact your administrator for them. Detailed analysis of your assessment results, including an assessment certificate, question analysis, benchmark data, and a personal skills gap analysis is available via the Knowledge Smart user profile area. If you encounter any issues during your assessment, you should firstly contact your local Knowledge Smart administrator. The Knowledge Smart Support Help Desk is also available at support.knowledgesmart.net. Best of luck.